Hello everyone, today we're going to look at uh, uh, another program uh, in the Bunsen Lab series, uh, the Bunsen Labs Linux distribution. We're going to, to look today at uh, Blob. Blob is the Bunsen Labs open box uh, theme manager. Um, I don't know if it's unique to Bunsen Labs, I, I, I believe may, it may be. Um, but the idea behind Blob is that it allows you to capture in one place all of the theme changes that you make to your open box configuration. So that would include, for example, um, the Conkey that you choose. So the Conkey, of course, is this uh, this display widget here on the right hand side. It would include your background wallpaper. It would include your panel uh, layout and theming. Um, it would include your alternative menu theming. So on here, we've got D menu, as we've shown before at the top. So it would include, for example, the theme of that and where that appears on your screen. Um, and it will also include uh, things like your menu. So the open box menu here, the theme and layout of the menu. And it will also include uh, your icon set that you've chosen and your open box window manager theme. So for example, file manager we open here, the open box theme is the border and the frame around the window that's being displayed. And in this case, the GTK theme, so the theme for the actual application is what's uh, displaying the background here um, and some of the menu configurations, for example. So now, if, like me, you like to play around with themes, um, and by the way, this is, uh, this has changed slightly compared to the other themes you've seen in the previous videos. This is, in fact, uh, just to dig digress slightly, this is an open, this is um, an open SUSE, um background wallpaper here in their traditional green um, and I've just modified this in GIMP to uh, give it the kind of Bunsen treatment here by adding the flame you see in the in the uh, the circle here and adding some transparency to the flame to make the whole thing uh, thing blend in and also flipping the image um, because the conky is over here on the right you don't really want something with um, uh, lots of, uh, of kind of busy image sitting behind that so the, the images flip left to right just to, uh, to accommodate for that um, I've also made some changes here to, to the panel down here as well uh, since you since you would have last seen this in videos and also the menu which has now got some green highlights to match the green here that's been added to the conkey and the green highlighting here on the uh, the menu items and the green separators and what I've done uh, effectively here is, is make uh, alternative configuration files for the menus and also alternative variants on this conkey. So for example I've done a red, a blue and a silver version of this in addition to this green. So if you change your wallpaper you can actually change the elements of the desktop to match that. Um, any other change I've made here is that uh, the actual, um, if I open the file manager here, uh, I'm actually using one of um, Eric Dubois' uh, flat themes here, sorry flat um, icon sets here uh, for this, one of his mono icon sets here which I think is very nice. It's a uh, goes well with the overall uh, overall theming here. Um, but as I say, that's digressing slightly. But wouldn't it be nice if when you make all of these changes um, uh, and you arrive at a, a kind of unified theme, you don't have to remember the different elements that have made up that theme. Wouldn't it be great if you could hit a button and basically have all of that saved in one place so that you could recall that at any time? Well, Bunsen Labs to the rescue because the, uh, the Bunsen Labs Open Box Theme Manager, and if we go down here to our preferences, you'll see it's listed here as Blob Themes Manager. We open that, you'll see. Now what this does is it captures all of the files that are responsible for your desktop theme um, and your, your menus, for example, and your conkey, um, and it saves them in one place for you. So you can see here, this is, um, this is what it will save. So it saves your Open Box theme, your GTK theme, um, your conkey, running system theme um, and also you're running conkey configuration so for example on this conkey all of these additional program shortcuts here i've put in will be retained within the running conkey file and it will save that the tint 2 panel at the bottom here so it'll save the configuration of your tint 2 panel it'll save your desktop so it'll save your wallpaper the alternative menu which is our d menu which we saw at the top of the screen Light DM theme, which is your login theme, that currently does not work in this version of the program, but I believe they're going to add that a bit um, a bit later on to a, to a future version, so worth um, watch, worth watching for that. Um, the exit dialog theme, it's very nice on uh, Bunsen Labs. If we do a little right click here and click exit, you'll see we get our kind of little teal coloured um, 
background with these icons here to exit or suspend or put it to sleep mode or um, restart etc um, and you can change the theme of this and the icons there as well and it will save that as well into the um, into the blob folder which as we'll see shortly um, your xconfig uh, files so your bash rc your x resources um, files it will save those as well Terminator, which is of course on this system, Terminator is our file manager. So we go to a file manager, this is Terminator. So it's not that, that's not file manager, it's the terminal, silly me. So terminal on here is Terminator. Now, again, any changes you make to the configuration of the Terminator file will be saved when you save your your, your total theme into the blob folder. Um, now on this one here I've actually tried to enable some background blur. I've got a bit of the KDE bug lately. Um, and so um, it, it works. It's not quite as nice as the KDE version. It doesn't do it to quite the same effect. Although I do believe you can you can change the way it does that. But you can see there's a slight blur behind the, um, the window here now. Um, to go with the transparency which is quite nice. And it will save that when you, um, when you save the configuration. Um, uh, and finally it'll actually save a screenshot, it'll actually open your screenshot program it'll open your menu and your programs on screen in a in preset order and it will then take a snapshot and save that um, as a as a thumbnail so when you go back into into the blob theme manager it'll display all of your saved themes and you can recognize them not only by the name of the theme but also by the screenshot that it will have captured at the time so let's say for example I wanted to change the current theme here so let's say I like this theme but I don't like the background so I want to change the, uh, the wallpaper so let's go into our preferences uh, let's go into our wallpapers and let's select something different so let's select um, let's have fabric we'll apply that so that's okay it doesn't quite go with this conky um, you'd need a slightly less transparent conky for that but um, and maybe you'd have blue highlighting but um, nevertheless, let's suppose that we like this. We like the background, we like the conky, we like the panel, and we want to save that as a configuration. So what we would do for this is let's quit out of that. We we'll go back into Blob, which is under Preferences, and all we need to do is click on Save Settings. Now what that will do is ask us to give it a name. So let's give it um, let's give it Rob. Um, so new config and we'll just okay that so that's what's going to call the um, the set and it's now asking us which elements of the desktop theme and the system theme rather do, do you want us to save into this uh, into this newly created theme set so we can choose any of these and it will choose the and it'll apply the ones that we select or we can just select all and it will apply everything so this is now going to save our OB theme, our open box theme, our GTK theme, our background wallpaper, our conkey, our tint2, our D menu, our exit dialog themes, our xconfig files, and our terminator themes. All of that is now about to be saved as you see it on screen now. And all we would do is select OK. And what you'll see when I do this is it will just ask for confirmation. So this is reminding us here just what it's going to do. And when we click OK here, you'll see it take a screenshot and then save the file. So here we go. And it's now taken a shot, and it will now save that um, into the uh, into the blob folder, which we, we can then, of course, recall at uh, at any time. So, if we um, if we come down here now, we should see it appearing here as Rob New Config. So, if I ever want to go back to this theme at a later date, I just need to click that, select it, and it will put all of my configurations back to how we how we see things now on the screen, um, which is a uh, a very useful thing if you're a theme tinkerer like me and I'm sure there are many out there that like to like to play around with uh, with theming so let's look at the other uses you can you can make of this let's say for example we want to go back to the Bunsen Labs default so this ships a standard with the helium beam theme now this will go almost back to default the reason it won't go quite back is I actually changed the default tint to panel um, and you shouldn't really do that you should actually make a copy and name it something else but um, silly me when I first started doing this um, change the default so the panel won't change but everything else will so if we go back and we reselect helium beam here and I click restore it's going to just check there that I know what I'm actually doing that I'm 
clicking the uh, the right theme and I'll click OK and now we can see this is the theme that would ship with Bunsen Labs as standard. Uh, tint 2 panel aside of course as standard the Tint 2 comes at the top and it doesn't look quite like this but as I say I, um, I amended the original file so it's just applying the original file that it thinks came supplied. Um, but our conky here is as supplied by Bunsen Labs, so none of my changes have taken effect there. The window OB theme uh, and also the GTK theming is as supplied by um, by Bunsen Labs. The highlighting here, this light green kind of colour, is again what came supplied by Bunsen Labs. And if we open something like our terminal, for example, and again you can see here the background here is as supplied by Bunsen Labs when it comes out of the box. You've got this dark grey transparent background here and the kind of silver white bordering and headers. So that's just a quick look around uh, around Blob. I think it's a useful tool um, because as I say it allows you to to save your configs without having to remember you know what made up that configuration. You're, you're bound to forget something. You'll, you'll restore it and you'll forget to include your menu file or your conky file or something but um this is great you can also of course export it so if like me you occasionally you can pave on your computer so occasionally if you completely wipe your hard drive and install a different distribution then decide six months later you want to go back to bunsen labs well you can do that and keep your your blob file on a, on a pen drive or something pop it into the machine just hit blob restore and it will put everything back to how it was in terms of the look and feel and operation of your of your system um, depending on which of those blob files you choose to restore. Now one other thing to mention is that the uh, the, the files that are saved um, using the kind of blob process um, live in a folder within your home folder. So if we open up um, our file manager here and we go into our home folder I've got this so that it will display uh, .config files. If we go into the .config folder you'll see here folder blob. If you open blob in here you'll see all of your saved themes and they're saved as folders so each of those folders contains all of the configuration information to bring back your your theme from the dead should you choose to resurrect it and of course down here we've got all of our saved thumbnails which uh, which tell us what that theme would have looked like so for example green flame which we saved earlier on here we've got our thumbnail here which we can look at to see what that theme looked like and we've got all our files here saved um, ready for use so uh, that's where you find the uh, the files and of course you can export any of these folders and bring them in either on this machine at a later date or onto another machine another great um, great use for this of course is if you want to clone your theme so if you want to clone this desktop onto another machine running Bunsen Labs or possibly even another version of um, of Openbox then of course you can you can uh, you can bring those theme files into that system uh, and do so. So I think it's a fantastic little uh, little utility. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little walk around that. Um, so thank you for watching and I'll uh, see you again in the next one. Bye for now.